G'day YouTube family. It's been a while since I've done any sort of a real update on, on, on the process. I'm still trudging along. It's it's just been really cold out here. I've even stopped. I've probably only doing eight cells a day processing um, just because it's just too cold to come backwards and forwards. And let's face it, it's not really cold. It's not, not in the, it's, it's what, five degrees, five degrees at night, something like that. And that's um, Celsius. So Fahrenheit there is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I got a thermometer there. That's the only way I knew. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an update on the bus bars. I've changed the process as you know and I thought I'd do a little bit of documentation on it because I think it's a lot better. It's way better. You know nobody should do anything like I used to do. Um, they shouldn't copy that at all. It's, it's, it's not real good. So here we go. I'm going to show you how I'm doing this now and I'm really really pleased with the way it's turning out. So stay tuned and I'll see if I can entertain you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that mess, will you? Okay, so basically, what I'm doing is I got the, I got the copper bus bars, the little bus bars, bus bar saga, whatever. Drill the whole heap of holes. I got the drill press there. Got the bars here. Oop, let's make some room. Didn't put too much thought into this. So basically, all I'm doing, getting a pair of pliers. Uh, which way is the camera? There it is. There. Just pinching it in there so and then all that I'm doing is holding it nice and tight in there placing it down on my bit of concrete and then folding it up and then I get a little my copper bus bar that I still have to cut up and a hammer that I didn't find which is kind of typical really I'm never ready for these videos none of this professional shit here radio you're not going to be able to see much of this, but basically all I do is hold, hold that there like that. Yeah, there we go. It focusing. So I just fold it over. So that works really, really well. So I get two of them done. Just do another one quickly. Now that I've got all the tools sitting here. I don't even know if you can see this or not. You sort of can, but look at that. Fold it over. Whack the bit of copper there. It's it's anything. It's just a weight. It's just a way of shaping it nicely. Done. Alrighty. So we've got the two there now. Make some some space. This is the negative side. So we'll put those in there. Doesn't really matter how it goes in. Just a bit off the end. Basically, as long as it's square. Now, the problem with the way that I'm doing these bus bars is I'm cutting them so thin that they're not actually cutting straight. So when I... Uh, so when they go on the actual... Um, so that's a bad example, but they're not cut straight, so I'm having to, to pull them left and right to keep them all centered. But that doesn't matter. I, I'm not going for aesthetics, I'm, I'm going for function these days. I started this whole process with function, uh, with aesthetics. Now I've got to sort of take a step back and do it, do it better at the cost of aesthetics. So let's get this in focus because I don't really want to do too much editing of this. So where's my bit of copper? So I use another bit down this end so I can actually space it out so it's about the same size. Hold it all down. Make sure it's as square as possible. Get me some of me, me flux. And I don't use a heap. I'm even using less than I was last time, and it's working heaps better. So, whack a bit of flux on there. Me torch. Where's me torch gone? More professionalism for you. And this is going to block the shot, is it? No, that's me exhaust vent. 
Turn that on. And give it some heat. Now last time I was heating this all the way up. This time I just get it get it warm. And I'm actually heating the, the um the solder up a little bit too, which helps. And I was waiting for it to be green and discolour and everything else before. I found that that didn't really work for me too well in hindsight. Fill it up. Done. Let's get you in closer. So basically all I'm doing is putting the solder here, it's hot so I'm not touching it, and then it's actually wicking up all across the top so you can actually really, you can see it's, it, it pulls itself all the way around. So that's pretty good. So then all I do, yeah, let's set you back up again. Um, grab me old steel wool. It's still a bit warm, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Give it a clean up with the steel wool. You have a look at the back of it. There's plenty of extra um, solder along the back. Uh, where are we? There we go. Come on, focus. So, pretty happy with that. And it's way stronger than any other one I used to do. It doesn't matter. Hindsight, those the 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 that big long video that I did, I'm probably going to link this video to it. Those bus bars worked, but about 40% of them were the solders up here. I was way less than impressed with. But that's hindsight. We learn, we live, we move on. Cool. So that's how I'm doing it now, YouTube. Of course, then I get me a bit of um, heat shrink and do me a little bit of heat shrink up the top there. And that's still hot. Pete, you were a genius. So I'm still doing the heat shrink up the top. Looks really good, sits really well. So there you go, there's the bus bars. Update for you. I hope that uh, appeases the 18650 gods. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers.